For over 35 years, the nonprofit City Meals on Wheels has been providing a lifeline of nourishing meals and vital companionship to thousands of homebound and elderly New Yorkers who can no longer cook or fend for themselves. Founded in 1981 by New York Magazine restaurant critic Gail Green and legendary cookbook author James Beard, City Meals partners with community-based organizations and senior centers to prepare and deliver weekend holiday and emergency meals across the five boroughs. This holiday season, as in seasons past, a team of volunteers will hand deliver meals to their frail and aged neighbors, giving their time, their companionship, and even cheer to remind isolated older New Yorkers that they are not forgotten and not alone. Joining us now to talk about City Meals is City Meals Executive Director Beth Shapiro. Beth, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you. Us. Very nice I, to be I here. I touched base on that a little bit, but tell me a, a, how it is that City Meals got started. So there was a newspaper article the weekend of Thanksgiving in 1981 that talked about older New Yorkers going up to four days without food because the city funded meals Monday through Friday as long as there was no holiday. So the city was closed Thursday until Monday. And as you said, Gail Green, our founder, read the article and in her words was living a life of delicious excess. <laughs> she felt bad. She yeah. read the article and thought it could be her grandmother, her mother. So she called her friend James Beard and they rallied their friends in the restaurant world and at that time raised $35,000. They then called the city, the Department for the Aging, and said, we have $35,000. How many people do you have? They said 6,000. And they said, we'll do Christmas. And that was their plan, to do Christmas baskets, a Christmas meal, and it's just never stopped. And we've partnered with the city since that time, and we fill the gap. City Meals, as you said, provides weekend, holiday, and emergency meals. Our piece of that is now two million meals a year to 18,000 older New Yorkers. So give us a sense of, of, of the, the programs, how, how City Meals does this. The city funds meals Monday through Friday, okay. and City Meals steps in leverages the same meal centers. There are 30 centers, all five boroughs, spread around the boroughs, preparing and delivering meals. Basically, what we say is, we want you to do more. We're gonna make sure you're covered for that, to make sure older people who are too frail to shop or cook for themselves have a meal every day. You and I eat every day, mm -hmm. not just five days yeah. a week. Let me first go back to the number you, you gave us, 18,000 that you're going to do. Uh, and the other thing I was struck by is, is the, the number of elderly and the folks that are being served and what the projections are in the future. Right. So there are 1.4 million people 60 and older in New York City. That number is almost going to double, grow 40% by 2040. It's the fastest growing population in the country. We're seeing people both aging in, right, with all the mm -hmm. baby boomers right. coming in at a younger age, and then we're seeing people live longer. So the fastest growth area for us, 80 plus. I mean, we're feeding over 200 people who are 100 years old or older. Again, I saw that number, and that was astonishing. It's astonishing. On Thanksgiving, I delivered to Josephine um, in East Harlem, who was 101, mm. 101, full of life, very frail, couldn't you know manage the heavy doors in her building to get out or, or try to struggle with groceries or to cook, but so bright and thankful that a meal, and someone's checking on her every day, but the numbers are growing at a faster pace than ever before. Tell me about the, the role that the volunteers play in your organization. We have volunteers every day of the week. They're delivering meals. They're participating in a friendly visiting program where we pair a volunteer with a meal recipient and the volunteer agrees to go every week for at least an hour or so. So it's not just here, here's something for you no. to eat, thanks, take care. No, we're finding that Yes, that check-in is very important, mm -hmm. that connectivity. But these people have outlived friends, mm -hmm. family, often even their own children, and the isolation that they're feeling is almost as um, debilitating as lack of food. So we have the friendly visiting. We have senior chat where uh, you, any volunteer, would agree to call. Mm -hmm. a, a, a meal recipient on a regular basis, and even old-fashioned pen pals. People are watching this and saying, what a marvelous organization. What can I do to help them? So yes, volunteers, but honestly, donations. And we guarantee that 100% of donations from the general public go to meal preparation and delivery. People can look online, citymeals.org, to make a donation, 
volunteer, and even find out about getting meals for someone they that's, care that's about. That's my last question for you. If people watch and say, I know yes. somebody I think who could, who could be helped by this. This could be beneficial for them. They do what? So two options. Mm -hmm. Call 311 for the city and very easily go to citymeals.org. There's a tab right at the top, get meals. You plug in the zip code and it gives you the right phone number for that local area to get meals flowing quickly. Well, Beth, it's a marvelous organization doing such good work for so many people who, who need the help from this organization. So I want to thank you for what you do and all of your folks there, especially your volunteers, and thanks for spending some time with us. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate My it. Pleasure. You be welcome.